Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's Vlogmas is gonna be a little bit different. I believe it's Vlogmas number 19. I'm coming at you from my car just because I am leaving the gym, so I figured that this would be a good time to talk to you guys about staying balanced, healthy, happy, and motivated during the holidays. I know the holidays are like basically upon us, so it's important to talk about these things. I know that I preach about balance and you know eating the pizza if you want it and um, taking a rest day if you need it, but I don't want you guys to think that it's okay to be like balls to the wall all the time. A big part of being balanced is still eating healthy, nutrient dense foods and you know incorporating some of those treats every once in a while. That is something I do in my own lifestyle. I'm not promoting that eating pizza and donuts all the time is gonna make you healthy or make you lose weight, make you gain muscle or give you the body you want. That there's no way. It's taking a balanced approach that keeps you mentally sound and happy. And as far as working out, working out is extremely important, not just for the sake of, you know, if you're trying to lose weight, burning those calories, but it's important to build your endurance, grow stronger, lift heavier weights, do something good for your body. Physical activity is amazing for your body. So there's so many reasons why I I do what I do, which is working out on a pretty consistent basis, eating well on a pretty consistent basis, but also sharing with you guys my rest days and also sharing with you my treats as well. So I just wanted to send that out real quick. I know I get a lot of comments from people who admire and appreciate the message that I'm trying to send, but I just don't want that message to come across in the wrong light. It's all about balance. So basically today we're just gonna talk about a few of my tips and my thoughts as we go through the holidays. I am just intuitively eating. I'm not tracking macros. I'm not counting calories. I'm paying a little bit of attention to protein just because that's important, but I'm not tracking and it's been really, really great to be eating intuitively. I know a lot of people that do track macros and that's great and I think that it's a very important thing to pay attention to. Whether you wanna take IIFYM seriously or whether you just wanna learn about what's in certain food, counting macros has taught me so, so much and I would highly recommend it for people who are really taking their goals seriously. With that said, tracking through the holidays is not something I really would recommend. There's so much food that you're kind of unable to track. There's so many parties that you don't wanna sit there and be like calculating what you see on the tables. And there's guilt to it too. Like if you're not sticking to your numbers, you're gonna be like, crap, I'm not doing this right. Like, and I don't think that's a feeling that you should have during the holidays. I totally understand if you're in bikini competition and you're prepping or if you have a big photo shoot coming up or something like that that you need to be in tip-top shape. I get it. I would suggest just eating intuitively through the holidays. I would just make sure that you are really listening to your body, really listening to your stomach. Am I full or am I satisfied? There is a difference. You don't need to be completely full and feel uncomfortable. You can eat and be satisfied. and. A big part of that is taking your time eating and taking a break from eating for a bit and seeing how your body feels. Like a lot of the time, our minds are so much bigger than our stomachs and if you even just eat like a third of your plate or half and take a little break, your stomach's probably gonna be like, I'm satisfied, like I don't need any more food. And that's a good feeling and something that you definitely need to pay attention to and then you know when your stomach's feeling hungry later eat the rest of your plate whatever it may be you don't need to be like a gluttonous crazy person during the holidays there's something that i noticed in myself and talking to clients that i'm pretty sure a lot of people can relate to and that is knowing you're going to have an indulgent meal and just throwing out the rest of the day whether you're having an indulgent breakfast and then throwing out the rest of the day because you're like oh why do i need to eat healthy um if I already messed up breakfast, or it can be opposite with dinner. So you're just like, why do I have to eat healthy leading up to my big dinner? I'm just gonna say fuck it, and I'm just gonna eat everything in sight. And that's something that I noticed that I was doing for a bit there, and it's something that I've noticed a lot of my clients do, and a lot of people online who I talk to do. And it's just something that is mental and it's a habit that you have to break mentally. And the first step of that is being aware that you are doing that. 
and really taking time, quiet time to yourself, sitting down and talking yourself through it. Plan out your meals, you know, make sure you're getting all the important things your body needs to function because most likely you're not gonna be getting them in your indulgent meals. So really sit down with yourself and talk yourself through the rest of the day because it's important to have that time to yourself to really think and reflect. I think the same thing can go with working out. A lot of people tend to throw workouts out the window when they're gonna have an indulgent meal. They're like, well, I'm gonna eat bad, so why do I have to work out? That's a no-no. It's important to work out not just for burning calories, but because it's good for your body and it's good to get moving, it's good to grow stronger, it's good to run, it's good to do all of these things that are important for your body to function and stay healthy. So make sure you still get your workouts in. Don't make an excuse of, oh, I'm gonna eat shitty, so I'm not gonna work out. Like That is the worst way to think. But also I don't want you thinking like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat a really, bad dinner later so I gotta work off all these calories like I don't want you to have the mindset either if you're gonna have an indulgent meal make sure you think of that food as an advantage to your workout lift extra heavy that day so you get a really good pump and you have a lot of energy a leg day is a great day for indulgent meals it's one of the largest muscle groups in your body so you might as well fuel that workout with food so stop kind of viewing your workouts as just burning calories because there's so much more than that uh, another tip I have is to work out in the morning I can't stress this enough it's so important to get your workout out of the way before you start making excuses for yourself later on in the day because during the holidays friends family come in town you have so many events then you're gonna be like well I can't do it then this person's coming in town this person's coming over I have this event so it looks like I can't work out today if you just work out in the morning and get it over with you're set like get up go and do it and you're gonna feel so much better I feel like people dread workout so much but afterwards you feel fantastic and I was just talking to a client the other day and they were saying I know that I feel good after I work out I know I feel like a million bucks after I work out but getting there is such a problem so my tip is to just get up and go don't think put on your workout clothes and just get out the door because now you don't have to have it nagging in the back of your mind for the rest of the day or trying to come up with excuses why you can't work out Another thing that I want you guys to remember is that it's okay to be a little bit selfish. It's the holidays and I know it's the spirit of giving and giving everything you have to everyone else. But save a little bit of love and money and time for yourself and do something good for yourself. I know that you have goals, so why are you going to deprive yourself of what you need to get there? Whether that's signing up for a new gym membership or buying a new pair of workout shoes or buying a fitness journal, it's okay to treat yourself too during the holidays. I did, I bought myself a new pair of gym shoes and I was like, Merry Christmas to me. I want you guys to never put yourself in the back seat because you are so important and you are worth so much and I think that a lot of the time we tend to forget that we need to take care of ourselves. Another tip I have is get active with friends and family. If you have people coming in from out of town and you have some sort of activity that involves exercise, whether you know you have, we have good hiking in Arizona, so if people come in town, it's good to take them on a hike or you know if you live somewhere else and you have like a really cool rock climbing gym. Go on an activity with your friends and family. The holidays don't always have to just be about sitting around drinking and eating. Like, try and switch it up and get everyone active and get everyone moving. It's something you can look back on. It's a memory. I mean, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of laughter. And then another tip I have is to not go balls to the wall every single party. Take a more balanced approach to it. Eat vegetables and maybe stick to vodka waters at one of the parties. And another party, head to that dessert table and drink all the eggnog. I know they say one treat meal won't do you damage, but a bunch is gonna add up and you're gonna feel like crap. You're gonna feel guilty and then you're gonna have a few pounds gained. So anyways, those are just a few thoughts and tips I wanted to throw out there for today's vlogmas. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope my thoughts weren't all scattered. I will see you guys in the next vlogmas. Have a great day.